Hi friends, this is Susan Smith with Steam Creatively and I have been creating. I got my pre-order from the, when you went to on stage, you got a product premiere. And so I got to order a few things from the new catalog that's gonna be coming out the January to June in the celebration. I've got a downline event tomorrow or Thursday. Today's Tuesday, Thursday. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that I created, but I found a tip and trick that I think is fantastic that I wanted to make sure I shared with you. So this is with the new celebration paper and one of the celebration stamp sets. It had some balloons, so I added our balloon punch and then my fabulous favorite mesh ribbon that I can't show after December, but I still love it. So I put it on there. This is the new note cards along with a dandelion set but I stamped directly on the card and then ended that pretty dandelion. So those are two things, but this is the third thing I wanted to show you, and this is what's fantastic. Okay, so I made this card with um, using the new art gallery set and the dies. I used the painted texture embossing folder. I don't know, can you see that that's got texture to it? I used the pretty new designer series paper that is called, it's this pretty paper that I showed you yesterday, and it's called um, Fine Art Floral. Can you, I have it all cut for my class. So, but this is what I wanna show you that I thought was super, super fantastic. All right, so this is the new mini messages, okay? And this mini messages comes um, like this, and you see all of these fantastic words. Well, then it comes with a die that goes over all those fantastic words. So let me, I wanna show you how it all worked and then give you my tip. So I decided to use it with my Stamparatus. So I put it in here, up in the corner, put my paper back up there in the corner. Obviously I've used my Stamparatus one or two times the paper. I guess I could have changed it for you, but you know, you understand. So I'm gonna put my magnets on there and then I'm gonna ink this with um, Momento ink. And I'll show you why I wanted to do that in a minute. If I put a stamp case under here, I'll put the stamp case under here. It makes it so I'm not, the hinge isn't going too far back. So I'm gonna cover this with ink ink it really well. You know, you can see um, I'm using the red rubber, so I've taken the foam piece out from behind my Stamparatus. So this foam piece came out because I've got red rubber. So I've got that on here and I'm gonna close it. You know, and then I'm gonna sing, I don't know, happy birthday to you twice or something. It's kind of like brushing your teeth. You're just gonna rub it all around there. And then after I get it all on there, I'm gonna take my bone folder and hold it down while I lift it up so it doesn't shift. Oh, that's pretty good. There's a couple places I'm gonna re-hit. And it's super, I know, this is super scary because it's words and you just don't know how they're gonna do and we just don't know, but I've taken every precaution possible to make sure it lines back up. So I'm gonna do it again. This was the side that I didn't push hard enough on. I'll go back over and sing happy birthday again. So I'm gonna rub that down. I'm gonna hold my bone folder here and lift it. Ooh, dude, that lined up really good. I like it. Yeah, there's maybe one spot right there. Let's see if I can hit it again. Legat. Oh yeah, it's just a lot of words, a lot of different fonts. And so you wanna make sure you get it all just exactly right. Okay, so then after I did that, I took it off. My gosh, I'm like a hot mess today. You're seeing my hot mess desk. Cause I have my little stamp. I folded over a piece of paper I was stamping on it cause I went off the page. It's okay. So I have my So Saffron. I have my um, Petal Pink. And then I have my um, Soft Seafoam. Okay, so I have my three um, subtle colors on here and I'm going to show you how what else I did so I now that I've got this done I wanted to put some color on the background 
partially just because I could, you know, because that's what we do, right? We can do it, so we do. Then I put another one down here. And then I added my stems. And my goal was to kind of try to make sure every one of the words had a little bit of color on it. And kind of go that way with it. And then I'm going to put this um, pink on top. And I picked these colors. I didn't just randomly pick. I picked them because they matched my paper. I'm going to do this down here. Oh. I'm going to do this. I ha This has stamp off on it from a class that I did because I wanted them to stamp off and it's just a block that I used. So I write on these with a Sharpie when I want them to stamp off and I'm having a class. And if I took the time, it just comes off. So I just wipe it back off. I let it sit there for a minute. It'll come off real easily. So I'll go back and show you that in just a second. Okay, so I've done that. And then I'm gonna cut these two out with the dies that come with the set. I've thrown them in my tub. Um, I don't know how you guys are, but when I create a project, I put it in a container. So they're in my container, but I cut these two out and that's how I got this flower. And then this is all flicked too. I flicked it with my Stampin' Write markers. Like if you do this, all right, I'm sorry. I didn't do it with my markers. I did it with my blends. Sometimes I do it with markers, but that's how I get those little flicks on there. Let me, sh I'm going to show you a little bit closer. So I added the other colors from the paper. I did a poppy and then I did the um, blackberry. So I went ahead and put those colors on. But what I want to show you about this. So when I laid this dye over the top, you know how you always spend a bunch of time trying to line it up? Stamp it up because they're so good at what they do. Gave us guides. These little guys. There's hearts and stars. So if you line up the hearts and stars, all the words line up. Woohoo! And then I just ran it through. And after I ran it through, look. I mean, this is a word party. It's got some great sentiments in it. So I like to um, put these, like I'll take one of the little baggies that like our embellishments come in. And I'll take these out and I'll put all the extra words that I'm not going to use on my card in here and then stick them in my stamp set. So I have the extra words right there so I don't have to do them all the time. So I've got my card. And now it's just a matter of deciding what words I want to say because any of them match. Because again, Stampin' Up! helps us match things so well that I can add, I'll zoom in here so you can see just a little bit closer. Whoops, wrong way. So again, I can add any of these words would work. And there's just some great words in here. There's, of course there's a happy birthday, but there's just a card to say hello. There's a happy anniversary. There's a thank you for being you. Another birthday, I'm celebrating moments with you excuse me congratulations wishing you a year of magical moments sending smiles your way be strong be brave you've got this so all kinds of fun messages all here from one stamp one die create a pretty floral background and there you go all right friends thank you i'll take a picture of this have a great day i'll see you again soon